Yeah, obviously uh, disappointing to not uh, come away with points. I thought that the, the players put in a, a ton of effort into the game. Uh, obviously, uh, in the run of play, we were solid. Obviously, Andre made some big saves in the run of play, but uh, you know we give up two goals off of uh, dead ball situations, which is, is frustrating. Uh, something we've been pretty solid on all year. Uh, had, had some lapses there. I think the first corner we could have prevented and, and been a little proactive and just maybe kicked it out or up the field. Uh, it, it leads to kind of a shift in momentum. Uh, again, it's not for lack of effort. I think the guys put a ton into the game. Uh, still thought we could have been uh, more decisive with our uh, little three on twos from midfield that we had, dribbling when we should pass, passing when we should maybe dribble. Uh, but overall, uh, a good performance that gets wasted uh, without any points. Questions for Jim? John? How's it, Hayward? Well, how's Senior? So, yeah, you, obviously you don't want to sub your center, center backs uh, like we did, did today. We were forced to. Uh, Gooch had a, a knock to the head, whereas uh, it was no, not a concussion situation. The doctors checked him and he was fine in that regard, but the, the eye was actually just swelling up and to the point where it was affecting his, his vision. So, uh, disappointing uh, for, for him to have to leave the game. I thought he started uh, very strong. Uh, him and Jack were doing a good job on Villa. Obviously, you burn a sub there, and, and on a day where, uh, you know, obviously we're numbers down in the center part of the field with different international call-ups and, and injuries. Uh, uh, not the way we wanted to sub, but you know, losing Gooch and burning him, burning a center back sub early was was difficult. Talk a little bit about the center back pairing at the end there. You know, was moving yeah. Yarrow back and moving Elliott up to the center defense a bit. Yeah, obviously, again, we're thin in that in that spot right now, just due to. You know, uh, you have Mo injured, you have Carroll injured, you have uh, Alejandro and, and Jonesy away, and that's that's part of it. You know, we have a deep roster, and that's uh, uh, you know the the reason we have a deep roster is to, to use it. And then you know we wound up uh, using Josh as a uh, center back and, and moving Elliott into the the sixth position, a position he's played before. Uh, it's it's never what you want to do, but in, in the moment where Warren gets injured, uh, you have to make a, a decision. Again, we didn't really get beat in the run of play in the, in the, in the course of the 90 minutes. It was on the, the two dead balls, which was, uh, again, disappointing. Anything with Elsinio being hurt or anything? Just cramp. Uh, again, uh, he's, he's been working his, his tail off to get up to 90 minutes of fitness. It would have been a day where I wish we could have used him for 90, so we didn't have to use the sub. Uh, but uh, just cramping up at, at the end of the game. Jim, when you look back, you said going to the road trip, the goal was four points. Yeah. So you ended up coming away with zero. Yeah. What do you What do you think about when you look back at these two games? Yeah, that's four less points than, than we wanted for all the mathematicians out there. But uh, yeah, it's not what we wanted. Obviously, the, the, the two trips, uh, Salt Lake, difficult place to go. Not our best performance. Still only gave up a goal. Uh, and here had them, uh, you know, at, at one zero in the 80th minute. Would have liked to, at a minimum, get away with with a point. I think our effort and our uh, performance deserved one, but at the same time, uh, when you fall asleep on on the dead ball situations, Andre could only you know bail us out so much. So uh, disappointing. Now two tough road games. Uh, we'll regroup. Uh, we have uh, obviously Open Cup and then uh, a three game homestand coming up. So uh, it's not all bad, but you know we fought our way to get back uh, into the standings, uh, and we still obviously have a lot of work to do to. to to get back uh, towards uh, the top, and then uh, on the on the Fafa goal, just yeah. another good good finish by Fafa. How do you yeah. think he's, he's playing right now? Yeah, I thought he brought a lot of energy to the game. Uh, you know, good ball by CJ, uh, really good uh, break from the the group, uh, and and you know we had probably three or four of those that we would have liked to have gotten right. I think Chris had one where he got in behind. Uh, Sean Johnson makes a good save. We had a couple on the first half or half chances. You know, Roland hits the post. A lot of little little chances that, uh, you know, hopefully on another day we can execute. You know, Fafa does a great job uh, taking his goal, uh, but also a really good pass from CJ. So, uh, again, in order to, to get points on the road, sometimes you got to score multiple goals, and, and Fafa did a, a good job of getting one uh, for us today, but unfortunately it wasn't enough to get points. How do you assess where Richie is right now? Is he at the level you want him to be at? Well, Richie, you know, again, everyone forgets he was part of the, when we started turning things around defensively, he played in L.A. in that clean sheet there. So um, they missed the next game due to sickness. Uh, he's a guy we believe in. Uh, obviously, with, with Josh coming back in his first minutes, too, we have a, a lot of good center backs. Uh, again, it's hard when you lose one early. Uh, it's not a position I like to sub at all. Uh, but 
uh, different circumstances came up, we had to make a change, and you know Richie's more than capable of stepping in. Obviously, you know on the on the goal, Chano gets a, a half step on him, gets in front of him. Uh, you know, we don't have anyone on the post at that stage because uh, they they pulled a, a couple guys out for for short for a short corner. So uh, disappointing again. Uh, that kind of starts the momentum. Uh, it looked like a day where Andre wasn't going to get beat, and then. That happened, and, and things kind of snowballed from there. So, you know, happy with Richie uh, to get back in there, and, and he's more than capable uh, center back in MLS. Harris gets a captain band for the first yeah. time today. How has he kind of developed for a leader on this team? Yeah, he, first and foremost, he's as professional uh, as he as he get. He's uh, a guy that you know I, I encourage all young guys to learn from. Uh, he's he, he's on the training field working on his game at all times. He's a, a great leader by example. Uh, with the words that he says to young players, uh, it's a pleasure to work with him. He's, he's a, uh, a great player, and then obviously to, to wear the captain's band is uh, always an honor. Uh, I'm sure he's disappointed we didn't get get any any points. He'll go away with Bosnia now, and I'm sure he'll do well for them. But yeah, Harris has had a great season for us, and is uh, developed into a real leader. Thank you, Jim. Thanks, Jim.